Okay, now we can get to the hardware store. After a short hike, you find a small hardware store nestled in the sparse woods surrounding the lake. It's a very model of a down-home country hardware store, because it doesn't have any old-timers sitting out front chewing the fat. Maybe it's your day off, or maybe they ran out of fat. Ooh, Hoboglyph! Code reads, Nice man, asking for candy. Neat. I need to find more hobos. Actually, hold on. Does the hobo camp have any hobos we can talk to? Hey! Hey, Washi. Any hobo code you could teach me? Sure, I know the word washboard and some words that kind of resemble sound of washboard base, but they aren't really useful as actual words. Warm hands. Hey, know any hobo code? I should have done this. I should have done this a lot of while ago. Yeah, I already talked to everyone. Everyone else here, I think. A while ago, story of my life. Yep. Let's go back and read those hobo codes. If we can just remember where they were. Not here. The ruckus of rumbling, burbling, grumbling, and screeching, a whole crowd of very angry mushrooms storm out of the underbrush to attack you. Mushrooms? Okay. Oh god, these mushrooms are very deadly. Oh no, and they have stench armor. the one that does the most damage. Ow. Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna die. Oh, yep, I'm dead. You lost. Whatever these mushroom guys are angry about, they sure are thorough in how they express that anger. You take a moment to consider your failure. You gain an effect. Contemplative. You know, you got enough XP to buy a skill and make your character more powerful. Would you like to go to the character sheet and take a look? Yes, please. I would really like this one first for the Mac more AP. Hmm. Swiss Cunning would also work, or Mind Over Moonster. Yeah, let's take this one. More Mysticality and more HP. Let's go back to that distillery. Hmm. Oddly rectangular brown rock catches your attention, and on closer inspection, it turns out to be a completely rusted, and partially sunk to the ground, old pre-war soda cooler. Although someone fitted a meat operated lock onto the door at some point. Due to the rust, you can't tell what brand it was. Heck, you can't even tell if there was any soda still in it. 
You force some meat into the slot and grind the crank around until the door grudgingly unlocks. Inside you find a raccoon skeleton and an extremely old can of soda. Ah, it's 9 hobo code knowledge required. Unfortunate. I'm gonna have to find more hobos to help me out. You hear raised voices and sounds of a commotion nearby, and hear in that direction to check it out. As you get nearer, the voices become clearer. Someone's yelling for help! You pick up the pace and soon find a small glade in the middle of the woods, filled with an odd little structures and large, beautifully colored butterflies. Something feels a bit off about the whole scene, though, so instead of rushing in, you crouch in the bushes and creep around the perimeter, looking for a source of the yelling. One group of butterflies is nearer to the bushes than the others, and as they get closer to them, you can see that they have little human bodies. They're fairies! Wow! Real, fa real fairies, just like in the, you know, fairy tales. They seem to be giggling maniacally about something. <laughs> I, I think we gotta mess with them, Mike. They're creepy. Ah, shut up, Jim. I ain't afraid of some weird butterflies. That sounded uncannily like regular sized human voices. Weird. Are they mimics like parrots? Hey, get off of my ear, you little varmint. Get ah, my eye, my eye. Ah, get it off me, get it off me. Huh. They always seem much nicer in the bedtime stories. This mess of twigs and sap is a fairy nest. You fumble blindly into the nest and find the knife. You pull the knife out of your hand and flesh and stick it in your pocket. These fairies put up the tiny dukes as you approach. Huh, there are a lot of fairies guarding that nest. Must be something good inside. You show those fairies who's bigger and tougher than a fairy. Ooh, I got a star wand. And fairy dust. Oh good, my weapon, my grinding spatula has been, been a bit lacking. Another fairy nest. Dig around in it. That's contain nothing but garbage and a mouse trap, which snaps shut on your hand. You gain an infect hand tree. Oh, that's not good. Ow! Let's get, let's get rid of that one. Get rid of this one, and then use our fairy wand to destroy this one. Go, Molly! Ooh, fairy cake. The fairy is, hu is a huge birthday cake. For you, it's a greasy reminder that you killed a fairy on its birthday. This kind of feels like an exactly like a Flash game. Actually, yeah, its base, uh, its predecessor was uh, two games ago. It was like Kingdom of Loathing, which is like a browser-based game. Wow, this thing is horrible. It must be meant to scare humans away. I'll take it back later. Another fairy nest. See what's inside. This must be home to one of the. This must be home to one of one of the wealthier fa fairy families. Neat. Ow, ow, ow. That's a very strong mushroom. Ooh, 
Ooh, squirrel cheese. Fairies keep the squirrels the way we used to keep cows. One can only hope that someday they will face a similar reckoning. Hey, sugar, over here. <laughs> this is the berries. I ain't gotten this many fights in ages. What, you don't do a lot of fighting for the mob? Ah, they're all wet, only giving me an earful, shooting up the place is bad for business, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Another fairy nest. What horrors must wait up within? Curious. The inside is totally overgrown with sweat moss. It's uncomfortably warm and, uh, and uncomfortably moist. Scrape it out. You collected all the useful ingredients from the sweat moss. Now go wash your hands. Oh, that's a lot more. Oh! Ow. Okay, first take out this fairy gun mother. This one. Okay, I might need to heal myself. Jeez, I have way too many items. Sure, let's use a soggy use bandage. <laughs> uh, okay, that's funny. Let's attack this mush tender. Mm, dang. Not good enough RNG with Molly. Ooh, that made our job easier. Ready for RNG. This better be worth it. Reach inside and see. Hey, a ring! One of the fairies was probably using it as a crown. It makes it dangerous to be near you in combat. You're wearing this lightning always right shotgun. What does that do? Back to the hardware store. Your meandering hike takes you near the lake, which may not have been reflected in the map display, but you'll just have to suspend your disbelief on that one. Molly picks up a flat stone and skims it expertly across the water. Nice one. Thanks. Hey, sugar, I had a big rock like how big of a rocky thing you can chuck. Raw muscle isn't a max of my forte, but I guess I do all right. You take up a fist-sized rock and pitch it into the lake with a splash. A loud plonk falls close behind. You turn to see Molly picking up a softball-sized rock with a grin. May look like a girly girl. I mean, right, Tommy's got to kick like a mule. Got to keep a rust off of these pistons, you know? Is Tommy your boyfriend? That sounds kind of... My girlfriend's name is Nancy. Tommy is short for M1921 Thompson submachine gun. Oh, right. I knew that. She heaves another large rock into the lake. You try your best to match her, but it's not much of a contest. Molly gets more muscle. Oh, right, Hoboglyph. Nice man, ask him for candy. Paints in, paints in all the season's trendiest patented colors, such as the cornflower blue and ruby purple and chatrous green. There are rusty nuts and bolts, in case you want to buy some garbage, I guess. This barrel has a joke t price tag on it 10,000 meat. You don't understand the purpose of any of these tools. This shape, this shelf is labeled ineffective pesticides. <laughs> Classic. Hey now, that room ain't part of the store. The proprietor, you presume. You're the proprietor, I presume? Hey, yep, welcome to the Valley Hardware. Best hardware store in Crystal Dream Valley. Because the only hardware store in the valley? No, because the only hardware store. Ah, shucks, friend. You preempted my joke. <laughs> Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha! No hard feelings. Good seeing you face around. What can I do for you? 
Have any candy? Why, well, sure. Here you go. Pulls out a piece of hard candy out of a jar on the counter and hands it to you. I want to ask about something else if you don't mind. What can I do for you? Do you have any candy? You know that I do, but I also know that I just gave you some. Don't be greedy. Aw. What do you have for sale? You got a battery. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Ooh, fuse. I could use one. Steel Toad Boost. Do I not already have that? I do not. Let's buy one. Use Plunger. I'm not sure if I'm, that's going to be useful. Hmm. Adds one armor to a pair of pants. That might be useful later. Let's, let's take one for now. Let's see. Cooking with power tools. This book's thesis is that there isn't really much of a difference between a kitchen mixer and an electric drill. I mean, if you have the right attachment... I already have like two matches. I'll be fine. I need a val pump valve for the lighthouse keeper. Ah, uh, sure. What kind you need? Ah. Uh, you know, what? I'm gonna go ask the lighthouse keeper. Oh, oh, here it is. Glaxton valve. Thank you, to-do list. Here it is. Glaxton valve? Well, shuck, they stopped making those things nearly a decade ago. Guess there's still a slight chance they're still one in the back room. Ain't been back there since the termites got at the inventory. Maybe after it got flooded. Anyway, it's a real biblical style of disaster back there. Yeah, I'll unlo unlock the door for you so you can take a look around. If you can find a Glaxton valve in that mess, you're welcome to it. Thanks. Mind your step in there. Eh, let's see. Rubbish, rubbish, broken doors, broken doors. Dilapidated shelves, portal to the Eldritch Realm. Yep, seems like a storage room of a hardware store, all right. Pile of waterlogged garbage. It's a good thing you don't care what month it is, because this calendar is worthless. Seepage has caused this concrete to become set in its ways. Nasty trash. These boxes will be perfect for storing a collection of mildewed clothes. Shelf is empty, but even the emptiness is somehow dirty. How much of a door does it have to be gone before it doesn't count as a door anymore? Something wrong with this door, in a way that termites and flooding doesn't really explain. Step through it? You step through the hole in the door and immediately feel a sickening lurch in your stomach and a burst of this was a bad idea in your mind. Like when you hit the first drop on a traveling carnival's rusty and hastily assembled roller coaster. After a moment, when the feeling has subsided enough, you open your eyes and look around. It looks like you're still in the same place as you were, except someone came in and cleaned everything up while you weren't looking? Huh. It's a workbench covered in tools. Huh. Neat. Shelves full of neatly organized hardware that hasn't definitely been destroyed yet. There's a 19-7 calendar on the wall by the desk. It looks brand new. Oh no, we're in the past. Stacks of boxes neatly labeled. None of them are Glaxton, though. As you leave the storeroom, the shopkeeper spins around and you both stare at each other in surprise. You because the shopkeeper looks a bit younger than he did when he went in there, and him because, I now, what in the heck were you doing in my back room? How'd you get back there without me seeing ya? I'm a termite inspector. I didn't call for any termite inspector. No, I do a surprise inspection so the termites won't find out in advance. <laughs> Why'd you get past me? I'm very good at my job. Huh. Well, I don't expect you to find any termites. I make my own custom pesticide. Yes, he seems to be pretty effective. I might have to go back in there for a follow-up checkup later, though. That's fine, I suppose. Just don't move stuff around too much. I like to keep my tidy back there. No problem. This shelf is laden with dangerous pesticide that you're pretty sure were banned years ago. Hmm. You don't understand the purpose of any of these tools, and never will. 
Silence Barrel says not for sale. Barrel, barrel of Gleaming Nuts and Bolts. Paints in all seasons most popular colors since have inoffensive gray and classic yellow and traditional brown. Aw oh man, I wanted that green chartreuse. There doesn't seem to be anything on the other side of this door. Weird. It's the hardware store guy, back when he was younger. Er, is younger. Welcome to Barley Hardware, the best hardware store in Crystal Dream Valley. Because the only hardware store in the valley? Ha! <laughs> That's a good one, I'll have to remember that. I'm sure you will. What can I do for you? You're renting out houses? I mean, you're renting out outhouses? Hey, yep, at least I was. Now that indoor plumbing's starting to get popular, there's no market for them anymore. Just got the one left. After that, I'm calling it quits on putting up new ones. Can I rent the last one? Yeah, sure thing. It'll be 200 meat up front for the installation and half that each month afterward for maintenance. What maintenance do you do? I dump some powder lime down the hole, clean out the ventilation pot, check for splinters, and once the pit starts to get full, I'll move the outhouse over a couple of yards and dig a new one for you. Unless you get free subscription to the local newspaper. You know what? Sure, I'll take it. I'll take an ancient, uh... I'll take an ancient outhouse. Great! Where do you want me to put it? Well, the Sandwich Museum always has outhouses. Put it next to the pet store. Pet store? <laughs> you mean mean the bait shop. Love that sense of humor you got, pet worms. Alrighty, I'll get the pig dug tomorrow and have the outhouse finished the day after. What else can I do for you? I'd like to buy one of those new Glaxton valves. Ah, sorry, Gutman fellas bought my entire stock. What? Yep, for the big dam they're building. I can order you one, though. How long would that take? Six to eight weeks. Um, would you mind holding on to it for me if I'm not back right away? Oh, sure, that's no problem. How long you figure? Eleven years. What? <laughs> no, freaking I say that's not a problem. Well, nuts. Listen, I can tell you they bought a heap more Glaxon valves than what they're going to need for that dam. So if you go up to work site, you might get a foreman to sell you one of their spares. Where is it? Southeast end of the, southeast end of the valley. Got a map? I have a postcard. Crystal Dream Lake. Never heard of that, but that's got a little picture of a dam on it there, see? That's about the same place relative to here. Great, thanks. You don't know when you are, much less where. Store is still all weird. Hello, okay. game. Well, there's a dam. Huh, so there is. Two things which are hard to describe, but let's say you're more or less like smoking holes in space through which you can see the faint light of distant and dying stars float up to you with an air of menace. The two orbs squint at you and Dark Noel's voice echoes inside your head in a way that makes your eardrums itch. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite holiday party, Crasher, perhaps I need to be more explicit at the fact that you weren't invited. I don't really get the holiday thing. I like Crimbo, okay? It's my thing and I'm sticking with it. What's that a weird childhood? I, you, it's none of your business and neither is the rest of this investigation or whatever you think you're doing. You need to learn to keep your nose out of other people's affairs. I'm just trying to find my uncle. How about you keep your nose out of my affairs? What a disagreeable little urchin you are. Do you know what naughty children find in their crimbo stockings? Yeah. A festive cheese log. He swirled your hands in a mystical pattern and launched a cheese log covered in chopped almonds and napalm at the orbs. Dark Noel's screech can be heard through the explosion. Urgh, that's it. You're on a very naughty list now. Next time we meet, I'm really going to dick your halls. Black orbs vanish in a puff of smoke. La 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 la, jerk. Hey, an outhouse. An outdoor time toilet. Flush yourself to the past. Ooh, spooky. Nothing out that way except the vista of nothingness. You're not in the mood for one of those right now. Barrel of chum, you do not want to be pals with it. It's a barrel of wriggling, slimy grubs. The barrel is sealed. But from the smell, you say it's full of decaying shellfish. Barrel of miscellaneous useful entrails. This one's full of pickles. Probably for catching those fish that like eating pickles. This barrel is full of dirt, but you're sure there's something nasty hiding in it. 
I don't suppose I have any gloves that can help me with this, can I? Why am I still wearing these steel-toed boots? Let's see, do I have any... Ah! Does greasy gloves help? It does not. It's a mousetrap set up here. Disarmed a mousetrap. Grady frowns. Seem cruel. Grady frowns, walks over, resets the mousetrap, frowns again, and goes back behind the counter. Hmm. This must be Grady. Hello there. Hello, welcome to Grady's Live Bait. I'm Grady, and this is my bait shop. Grady smiles. Nice to meet you, Grady. Can I see what's for sale? Sure, can I just use some minnows? Minnows? Yeah, they wriggle quite vigorously, I assure you. You're resistible to hungry fish. Nah. Uh, Alright, maybe you like to look at our grasshoppers then? No, I don't think so. No grasshopper, gotcha. How about a nice handful of grubs? Plum and juicy. Gross. No. How about some leeches? Jock full of blood. This is awful. Well, none of those strike your fancy. I think maybe you're not actually the market for any live bait. I think you're right. You need anything you need help with by any chance? Well, I'm always looking to people to, to dig up night crawlers for me. What are night crawlers? He reaches under the counter and pulls out a handful of wriggling worms, which any waves in your face. Ah! Worms! You will never forget that smell. Interested in doing some worm hunting? Sure, I'll get you some gross worms. Good deal. Dig up, um... Let's call it five. Five good-sized night crawls, and I'll make it worth your while. Here, we'll need this. All I know where to dig. Just follow your nose. You want another sniff to refresh your memory? He re starts to reach under the counter again. No, no, no. I got it. I'll be back when I have your worms. Mousetrap has been rearmed. Sneakily disarm it. <laughs> this patch of ground smells like night crawlers. You dig up the terrible creature and shove it in your pocket. Squirrel chatters angrily at you from a nearby hollow tree, presumably trying to scare you away from its stash? Real tactical mistake on its part, since now you know where its stash is. It scampers away as you peer into the hole, you find not just the expected nuts, but also several wallets? Huh, has the squirrel been mugging hikers? Maybe we should get out of here before it comes back with a knife. <laughs> Please change the outhouse to the sandwich museum. They already got a. They've already got a pretty steady yard toilet facility there, but well, never heard that backup, I suppose. Hey, okay, now we, we can see what happened to that place with all the witch hunts. We should also see if there's any other place with the night crawlers. You can see a faded billboard advertising kind of crystal shop. Location unlock. Crystal's Crystal Dream Valley Crystal Shop. I'll check that out later. And yeah, Nightcrawlers. You happen upon a small rest type area just off the path. It's a rickety old picnic bench in a square brick bunker that is presumably a public toilet. Although a sign on the door says, Out of order. And the sound of flies buzzing inside doesn't incline you towards testing that claim. There's also a meat-operated blue cola cooler, which is still has a couple of cans of soda in it. Although judging by the rust, it doesn't have it to exactly cool anything in a while. A can of blue cola. It's the patriotic thing to drink, proclaims the label. Hmm. The meat return slot is empty. Darn.
All right, no night crawlers here. Oh yeah, let's take this back to our room. Seriously, you want to take this obviously evil, obvi ex obviously extremely ugly statue back to your room, the room where you sleep. Yes. You dragged a horrible sculpture to the bus stop. Bus arrived but refused to pick you up because of a horrible sculpture. I mean, you spent the next several hours dragging it back to your room. Perfect. Just looking at this thing makes you mad. Pretend to fight it. You duck and weave, bob and swat. Are you shadow boxing or are the shadows boxing you? You gain an effect. Very fisticuffs. Oh, huh, neat. Ooh, a briefcase. Someone is giving you a nightstand. There's a briefcase and a note on top. Take one and read the other. Note reads, Slime. The quality of your work in the distillery has been noted as excellent. We will contact you and telephone you to the manor with further opportunities. Don Toblerone. You got an item. Briefcase full of meat. Like a cow, this briefcase is flesh surrounded by leather. Unlike a cow, it has brass latches and a handle. Honest work for dishonest pay. You open a case. Now that's a lot of gabagool. Messages 1. Call Don T with the phone number. Don Toblerone verbalizing. Hey Don, it's me. Ah, Splendiferous. Kudos on your triumphal completion of my previous destination. You're welcome, is that all? In fact, I have another item of business to be attenuated, which I believe to be suited marvelously to one of your skills. Which one? No, I mean, well, regardlessly, we require that you proceed apace to Crystal Dream Lake, wherein is located is wherein is located a purveyor of tools and implements of construction. Say again. You might vernacularize it as a hardware store. Ah, right. You guys run out of cement or something? We have necessity that you will perform this perform upon this place of business. We might categorize a shakedown. They owe you meat? No, we are merely desirous of the local commercialist retail emporia feel a measure of intimidation. Okay, I guess I can handle that. Sucks to do that to the hardware store guy, though. Hey, more Nightcrawlers. You see a familiar looking person heading towards you on the path. As they get nearer, you realize the reason they look so familiar is because they look exactly like you. Read them. Ah, uh, hi. Are you a clone or is it a time paradox or what? Turns out it's a time paradox, I guess. Wow, crazy. I agree, high five. The two of you, literally speaking, exchange a friendly high five. Okay, well I should get going. Yeah, me too. Good luck. Yeah, me too. Ha, <laughs> I'll remember that one. You did. Continue on. I wonder if there's any night crawlers around here. Maybe in the graveyard. Oh, hey! Hobo code. Possible code. This code reads Hollow Tombstone, possible treasure. You check inside the stone, and there is indeed some treasure. You got an item Satchel's Lucky Hat. This thing has a solid gold hat, hat band, and there's a tag of inside that says Property of Satchel Duggins, but help yourself if you find it in a hollow tombstone or something. Oddly specific. Anyway, let's go back to the hardware store. On a moldering tree stump off the side of the road, you see a glowing mushroom. There's only one reason a mushroom like that would be glowing, and the reasons start with M and end with Agic. You pick up the mushroom and harvest a microlumophagic uh, bacteria inside it. Again, what can I do for you? Pose, I've been asked to shake up the plate some of your merchandise. Come again? There's some mob guys who want to intimidate you for some reason, so they sent me here to shake things up or down or something like that. Huh. Oh, those paint cans of paint over there could use a good shaking. I haven't gone, ain't gone around to it for a while. Okay, sounds good. Can't say I feel particularly intimidated, though. <laughs> Paints of all season colors 
trendy as patent colors such as silver brown, forest navy, and broccoli auburn. You give all the pans a vigorous shaking. The proprietor nods his thanks. This what you call it is huge. Damn. Just, there's a lot of lake water in this pipe. Go fishing. You got a pink eye. You got a damp squib. And a Harvey Wallbanger. This one has a Glaxton valve in it. Hmm. This drain pipe has a nasty goo coming out of it. Harvest it. Yay. The beautiful flower stands and defines the raining in nature. Smell it. It smells as good as it looks. This pump has a Glaxon valve on it. There's a hobo code next to this pipe. The code reads, meat hidden in pipe. Ooh, you reach into the pipe and snag a concealed and congealed wealth. Hey, DG. Oh, hello. Another one of these time doors. Let's hope that repeated exposure to these isn't going to give your ancestors cancer. But why is there two of them? If I grab one, is it going to explode? Hope not. Oof. Hey, Nightcrawlers. Great label, pipe shoes. Huh. This is probably not what they meant. Not what they meant to order. You don't make any noise, we're just gonna have to roll with it. Helps you get around. Huh. Hilarious. Some careless damn worker abandoned the toolbox here. Yay, tools. This truck is even heavier than a regular truck. Nah, you don't want to get your hook stuck. Hey, Noel says anybody who ain't on the crew is allowed on here. Noel? Yeah, Noel, the foreman. Noel White. Ah, jeez. You alright? Just starving is all. Rest of the crew went to lunch, but somebody had to stay here and keep all the rubber neckers and looky loos off the side. I drew the short pants. Short pants? You mean straw? Nah, I got these six little pairs of pants we found when we cleared it out of Nest of Fairies. I see. Can I have them? No, because then we have no way of picking who stands gar. Man, I can't believe how hungry I am. Feels like I'm gonna turn inside out. What about that table over there that says lunch? There's a reason why everybody else left the site to eat, pal. You don't want to eat what Noel considers lunch. What could it be? Is it jelly deals or something? Man, I'd kill for a jelly deal. No one brilliant sees sandwiches that are a bunch of peppermint sticks between two big bland sugar cookies. You can get some stomach ache just watching someone else eat one. Look. Sounds awful. That's because it is awful. Offer us something to eat. How about a cheese loaf? You offer him a cheese loaf. He greedily devours it. Something is still growling. How about a fairy cake? Wow, thank you. He's starting to look a little less hungry and a little more relaxed. Here, take another fairy cake. Thanks, I already have one of those. I don't need one of a given thing each day. Doctor's orders. How about a Glockenbroth? If you had to describe his current mood, you'd probably say he's 60% sleepy and 40% hungry. How about a Blood Elf? He's almost asleep, but it just looks a little bit hungry. Here, end off with a squirrel cheese. Really, he greedily devours it. Finally satiated, he slumps to the ground and falls fast asleep. This guy's in a well-deserved food coma. The sign says lunch, but what's on the table isn't identify as identifiable as anything you'd want to eat. Waxman screw. Craft and nuts. Daxton shafts. Waxman discs. Braxton cords. Brampton picks. Glaxon valves. Yay, there we go. Grab one. There's only one left. Good thing you got here when you did. It's a brand new 11 year old Glaxton valve. 
Breakout house is extremely well constructed. Step inside. Taps don't work, but there's still a bunch of water pools in the basin. Ah, that's better. Use an effect. Hand injury. Yay! The prize is full of water. You should leave the rest of the you should leave the rest for people who need to use this room for its intended purpose. A workmanlike toilet for a workmanlike workman. Flush it. How much XP do I have? 102. Hmm. Still a little, still only halfway towards the Limburg or Limberness. I'll have to check back later. Huh, this pump is missing its Glaxton valve. This valve is held in place by decades of corrosion. Even if you could detach it, it'd get wrecked in the process. You've gone too much for this stupid voucher to give it to the government. <laughs> oh. uh, let's see, pet store. Off the side of the dirt road, you see a little trail of mushrooms. You follow it for a while and find that it leads to a cave where, whose mouth has been choked by mushrooms. Those things are bad for you. I'll check it out next time. Oh, right, I need the outhouse here if I'm going to go back to the past. You discover a ring of mushroom growing in a strange pattern. Using your training and intellect, you identify the pattern as a circle. How mystifying. Let's go put the outhouse back in the pet store. We find a decaying nightstand, scarred in the ditch, which is kind of a weird place to find a nightstand. Maybe someone got so mad about stuffing their toes all the time, they angrily drove it out to the woods and drove it out of the car. Check the drawer. Dang, there's all kinds of useful stuff in there. You got an item. Junk mail. Junk mail is a new technology that allows trash to be distributed to everybody so we can all share the effort of throwing it away. <laughs> Is that enough night crawlers? I'm done. Fantastic! You hand over the worms. It's promised, honest pay for honest work. You can't help but think that a revolting pay would be more appropriate, but Grady beats you to the thought by pulling a flower pot from behind the counter and handing it to you with a grin. Night crawler in a vessel full of its own food, which is also its own waste. What, what, what would I use this for? What use is there for a potted nightcrawler? Hey Greta, what are you selling? Pretty much just this big worm. A worm? I'm intrigued. You're right to be. A worm is a valuable ally. Imagine a snake, except your enemies can't tell which end is the head and which is the butt. They won't know if it's coming or going. Can it poison things like a snake? No, but it's slimy and people hate that. Super gross. Just 150 to cover the paperwork and you got yourself a worm. I'll take it. I just need to give it a name. Jim, huh? Great name for a worm. Here you go. This worm has no idea that it owes its entire existence to you. Jim the worm. Deals stench damage to enemies. You get a cat a little scratch behind its ears and it begins to loudly purr. Aw, oh, she likes you. Her name's Dottie, by the way. You can now pet Dottie to receive a boon. You can have one favor at a time. You can have Hecate's boon or Dottie's boon. Mm, I'll keep my current boon. Uh, this is still a large game. We're only in chapter two. 